Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete identity verification on TikTok. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we complete identity, identity verification here? Well, the first thing you need to do here is we need to open up the TikTok app and access our profile. Now, from the TikTok app, go ahead and click on profile at the bottom left. Now, in this case, there are going to be a few things you need to consider here or you need to do here for you to get your account verified. Now, having a verified account means having a check icon or blue check next to your username at your profile page here. Now, how do we get it? So first things first is make sure to complete your whole profile. So in this case, at the very top, go ahead and click on edit profile and complete your name, username, your pronouns, your bio, and nonprofit. Now, if you have other socials, you could, go, you could go ahead and add them in here. So the more information you get here, the more chances that you'll be able to verify yourself. Now, in this case, once you've done that, make sure to also turn on two-factor authentication. Now, what we need to do is we just need to click on the tree bar icon. And from here, just click on settings and privacy. Now, from here, go ahead and choose security and permissions. And from here, choose two-step verification. Now from here, choose the option that you want to use for your account. So may it be authenticator or a password or a phone or an email. Now, in this case, just click on turn on. And from then on, you should be good. Now, another requirement here is uh, you should be quite fairly known for you to actually get your account verified, meaning that news outlets that are not paid have reported or you were featured in. And from then on, people are actually hearing about you. But then again, People should be hearing about you. You uh, People are actually reporting about you or they're sharing content from you. Now, in this case, if you're quite a f a fairly known already, then in this case, TikTok can actually consider verifying your account. Now, once you meet those criteria, how do you request to be, uh, to be verified here? So first things first, again, go to your profile. Now at the top right, go ahead and click on the tree bar icon. Now from here, choose settings and privacy. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually choose the option that says account. Let's go ahead and click on account. Now, in this page, usually you'll have the option that says request verification. But this option is not yet available on all crunchies, meaning you won't be able to access it if, your, if this feature is not yet added on that specific country, which in this case is kind of unfortunate. But there's still a few things that you could do here to basically verify yourself. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to access a specific article for this one. Now, what we need to do is we just need to go to the very bottom here, click on support. From here, click on help center. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to search for an article. Let's go ahead and click on the search here. Just type in verification, just press on enter. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the option or article here that says verified accounts on TikTok. Now, again, it's going to describe you what we just discussed here, but the most important section here is going to be the very, very bottom here, which includes the option for you to request a verification, which in this case, it's going to be the link for submit a request through our online form. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, just provide your email address, your username, and what they could, uh, they could actually help you, which in this case, requesting assistance on verifying yourself. Now also, you need to submit a specific article here that you are featured in. So just to make sure that you're actually fairly known here. And from then on, if you have any attachments, you can go ahead and upload them. And you also need to agree these uh, options here. In this case, go ahead and click on submit and they will actually reach out to you if they can actually help you with this request. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.